mistake again. Probably is a bit of a breakout year. Has flown under the radar, but I'm not sure if that's going to continue. Ed Langdon feels like he now belongs on footy's big stage. I think it probably just comes down to um, just natural maturity. As he's mentioned, it's my fourth year now. He's a bald magnet who's regularly hitting the scoreboard this year. Who doesn't love kicking a goal? That's um, junior footy, that's pretty much what I played, was to, was to try and kick as many goals as I could. Ross Lyon's instructions, particularly at Optus Stadium, are simple. He loves me running. No, no, no secret, that's, uh, that's why I'm in the team. If you're quick, you're really suited to that venue, and I think, yes, he is now Fremantle's best running player. There's more to life than just footy for Ed, who's completing a Bachelor of Business, and he's a regular traveller. Pretty much as soon as the season's done, I, I ship overseas. His life away from the club has the coach intrigue. Probably shouldn't be saying this, but I think Ross described me as weird the other day, which, uh, which a few of the boys got into me about. Not as strange as the prospect next week of lining up on his brother Tom, who plays for Collingwood. Close as kids, they remain that way. It's going to be hard not to laugh out there, to be honest, if we find ourselves on each other, but try and take it as serious as, uh, as we can. Before that footy family reunion, Ed has another chance to enhance his reputation. We've got a good opportunity this week to, uh, to even our ledger again. Uh, at five and five. If he continues this form, he'll be there for a long time. You know, we're talking 10 years, a 10 year career for him at Fremantle.